YouTube and welcome back to Old Flads. As you can see, we're in Armour 2 again, but this is not DayZ, oh no. This is Wastelands. This is an additional mod that's like DayZ, except without zombies and a lot more PvP. Um, but, whoa, I'm getting shot at as well. I'm basically going to... I'll quickly talk you through it. We're on the way to go and get a crashed heli at the moment, but we're under some serious fire. Basically, there are two, two official teams, Op 4 and Blue 4, and then we have the independents who are like the bandits and they rock about and, they, and you have to rock around this is generous that we're on and you got to find varying things and basically dominate the map so we're looking at planet side 2 but in daisy uh, armor 2 if you like uh, that chinook i i don't think it's ours and they're shooting at it so presumably it's not ours whoa we've got an enemy truck it's just taking out everybody Oh my god, it's gone to chaos. Uh, I need to get out. Oh wow, what a what a start. Get in as the driver. Oh man, I've taken a hit. As you can see from the bottom right hand side, that Chinook is definitely not ours. Hold on one second. Fire at the Chinook, man. Then, oh, there it is. There's the downed heli. And that's what we're trying to get, and that's what that Chinook is protecting. But we are basically on a mission to try and stop them from getting that. Get in the gunner seat. Excuse me, I'm just going to have to... Uh... Oh my god, there's no ammo for it. Oh my god, this is not good. What the hell are this lot all about? run them over. I don't know if they're in PC. They might be. I'm not sure. Oh my god, it's all going on. Suffering frame rate crashing. Oh my god, there's PvP ever. We need to get out of here. Is it just me or is there another guy with me? I think I've got my buddy with me. We need to get out of here and get into a position so we can fire back. As you can see, this uh, this is slightly more hectic than Daisy is. This is not so much survival, this is about teams that are going about, you get guns all over the place, left, right and centre. Oh my god, where's that? We've got a whole load of the blue guys are us, and you've got the Chinook which is protecting everyone. I'm going to try and take out these NPCs. You have various side quests, you're just sitting up in the top right hand corner. That's a side quest. Whoa, don't run me over. And you got to complete those side quests which gets you loot. Sure, I just saw... Sure, I just saw a Ural. There it is. Quick, shoot the driver. Where's my buddy gone? There he is. What's he got? Has he got a sniper rifle? Beautiful. Right, let's go and do something. No, he hasn't. He's got what I think is an M4. Okay, so the objective of this is to whoa not get run over by the ambulance oh no and I died well rubbish <laughs> this is crazy good what a way to start let's uh let's respawn let's try and get back in okay guys so that was a that was quite a start to a video wasn't it got in loads of shooting loads of cars beautiful that's exactly what this mod is about there's not really any finesse involved but now that i've respawned i can give you a bit of a rundown uh, in relative peace and quiet where's this is the map okay so on the map you'll notice that that's our base area i'm part of the blue four team uh, no one has marked on there where the animal enemy team is general store has friendly players that's doubtful General store has enemy players. Yeah, so I mean, you have you can have a gun shop. There's an in-game currency as well, which is bloody awesome. But I haven't been down here for obvious reasons. I mean, I'd, well, it's probably best just to avoid them. There's enough going on everywhere else. There's also about 60 people on the server, I think. Maybe a few less than that. It's it's pretty chaotic. I know that. But the vehicle spawns are everywhere. Gun spawns are plentiful as well. The whole point, like I was saying, of getting the... What's that out there? 
UAZ. Perfect. The whole point of getting the side missions and the main missions is to gather loot for your team. So that when you die, you can just go back to your base and reload up and go out and kill some more people. It is as simple as that. Um, there are some rules. It's not like Daisy where it's uh, sort of unwritten rules about mindless killing. In this, uh, if you're blue for and you kill your other team, your team, sorry, then you'll get kicked. Simple as that. You're not allowed to team kill. It's not part of this game, and I quite like it for that. And people generally respect it. So that that's one good thing. What's happened here? Looks like uh, that car had a bit of a run in with some stone. So basically, what we need to do is go and find our base again, and hopefully get up this hill. And then hopefully get into more some more PvP. That's sort of the reason why we've come away from DayZ. I have got something planned. Whether or not it's going to come off, I don't really know. But, well, we'll see about that. But it might be that we go into standalone next. So you've just seen that objective pop up there. So where is that in relation to us? I know that we're at Staroy. We're just down here. Probably coming up here. But... That objective has not come up on the map yet. Let's try again. No. Okay, so the objectives will pop up on the map and then you got to go and do them in various orders. So that's the basic rundown of what Wasteland is. It should be a bit more entertaining for you. It should be a bit more action. If you don't like it, that's cool. If you do like it, we'll do some more. Uh, it's, it's certainly a lot of fun, and I'm going to try and get G in as well. So let's go over, try and find this objective, and see if we can't kick the crap out of some people. This is another little example of something I wanted to show you. You can build your own, you can build bases. Like I mean, I mean proper bases. Look at this thing. It's got everything: little windows to fire out, sandbags, reinforced walls. It's all good. Now the way you get these things about maybe it's work is you move objects I have now picked up the object <laughs> so the select the vehicle in which to load the object so what you do is you, you get these objects and you chuck them in vehicles and then you take them over which is slightly unrealistic however it does sort of mean that you don't have to worry too much about things. If you if you if you wanted to build these with sandbags that would take a bloody long time. So what you do is you tend to just move them, which is a bit uh well it's a bit strange really, isn't it? But we're gonna get a weapon. Out. I need to find out where my car is. Oh it's over here somewhere. Okay, so <laughs> I've managed to get around the wall. So this and you get it out to a vehicle and you hit enter and you load it into vehicle, okay? So now this vehicle has vehicle content and it's got a large bunker in it. So what we're going to do is take the large bunker up somewhere and open it out and we can start our own little base. In fact, that might be a better idea. I need to find a gun. But what we're going to do is head over to back to the Blue Fall base because you do have to sort of stay in contact with your, with your comrades. And then... We'll go and look for our own little base and we'll set one up. How does that sound? Sounds pretty good to me. Okay guys, so we're back at home sweet home. This is the base for Blue 4. So what I'm going to do is try and chuck this UAZ into the compound because this is what we're defending. All this we've put has been put here by our team. Uh, I'm going to chuck this in here and then I'm going to show you really what the purpose is. If I can uh, do some parking. Ooh. Yes, I can. Hold on. What the hell happened there? Have are they raiding? Well, oh, this would be awful. I am completely underprepared. Uh, so what you do is you come over here. I think we're being raided, so this is not great. But with all your gear here, okay, that's one of the friendlies. Where's all our uh, loot gone? Wow, did he just get killed? No, I think he just disconnected. There was definitely someone here a second ago. Oh, there is. He's still there. Oh, no. 
So this is another little addition that's different to Daisy, as we've seen before. There's no scavenging as such. There are supermarkets with NPCs where you can buy things, but you come up to these tables and you roll over it, and it will give you the option. I've just taken a can off this, so I'm not allowed another one. But you, you can take canned food off of there. So when you run out of food, then you just go to there. You're also carrying two water bottles. They're in like a global inventory type thing. You always have these items. Uh, let's see if I can... Ah, right, no. In order to access these items, you have to go to an NPC here. So this is the supermarket, as we've seen before. And here's an NPC. And from here, I should be able to access... No, I can't. Fail. Okay. Well, anyway, you get the idea. You're carrying water bottles. And this is your normal inventory. And you have a secondary inventory that you can use at those NPCs usually. There's a gas there. Let's nick that. So there's been a bit of a change of plan. Basically, I've got in this car with this guy. Um, don't know who he is. I know that he's on my team. So we're going to go with him, I guess, and see where he's heading. Hopefully he's going to fly me a gun. What, what are you doing? Go. Beautiful. Let's go and find some people to kill. Okay, so we've made it as far as Starry. And there's enemy players. We just had a warning come up. There's enemy players. He's in the Humvee at the moment. I've got nothing but this poxy little pistol. Maybe if I can attract his attention. Hopefully, it will turn around now. No, I didn't manage to attract his attention enough. There's a Ural down here, though. You still see the Ural? Well, he's gone. I don't know if he will flank us. Gunshots to our left. They're up on the hill. Sorry for bad English. Now your English is great, mate. It's certainly better than any other language I can speak. Okay. So we've got gunshots up on the hill now. I don't think they're aimed at us, though. So after we discovered that the base was no longer being raided, which is good, and all our stuff was still there. We've decided that we're going to squad up and go on our own little raid. We're going to go and find them, we're going to go and fuck them up. Yeah, that's right. Four-man squad, taking on the rest of the opposing team. Should be interesting. So on the way up to North Face Airfield, we've come across this little side mission. We're going to try and complete this. Basically, we've got to go into this truck. It's got reconnaissance stuff in it apparently so we're gonna go here see what's up I'm gonna bring it to the base so I can cover you let's just see what's in it okay it's uh it's basically ammo it's an ammo truck so we should take this back Now, I think, yeah, we've captured it. Oh bollocks! There's no petrol. There's no petrol. It was, we, we were so close. I was gonna do something that wasn't rubbish. I think my jerry can's empty as well. Oh man, it, it is as well. Okay, well we're just gonna have to leave that there. We'll just leave that there, and then we'll head on up. So we've decided that we're going to take our newly acquired ammunition truck, which is loaded, and we're going to take it back to base. That's the good thing to do. It also means it's hard whoa, for the whoa, enemy whoa. to get. And then, hopefully, we'll be on our way to do our raid. We've also found a new guy. The driver, ba the driver bailed and died. So, um, he failed. 
this this mod is becoming better by the minute it's so in depth so after what was a pretty annoying server crash it's reset the whole thing I've now become an independent which means everyone is fair game okay right so I'm heading up to Green Mountain now in essentially what is pretty reckless meta gaming move I hate meta gaming but considering I don't know how to swap sides this is probably my best place to start looking for other people uh, I don't really know what the whole point of independent is presumably you are as it sounds and we're just gonna sort of be rocking about with other bandits and making our own base I haven't decided where we should make the base yet but I think in somewhere roughly in the middle of the map would be quite good as long as no one else has taken it so let's head up here there usually are people up at this base so we'll try a little surprise attack if it works great if it doesn't boy am I going to be dead quick as you can see the light is drawing in and that's going to make life very awkward for me so I need to get hold of some MVGs soon quite where I'm going to get hold of them I'm not sure but I've just had a car go so that means at least one person is up here and the PvP is going to get going a lot quicker than I thought However, this is what we came for, so it's time to man up and get on with it. An armoured SUV there. I think going in guns blazing would be a foolish idea. He's just got in the SUV. Where is he going? Whoa, there's one down. That's what happens. See, that's what happens. Old Flads plus M240 equals Big Boom. Now, I've just seen him. I know roughly where he is. But I think he's gillied up, so if I'm going to have to be trying very hard to spot him here. I don't know if there's a way out of this base. But if there is, I could be in a bit of trouble here. But I know that their guy has just gone down by that wall. I can hear someone to my right. I think there's two more people in here. Someone's got in a car. There's another person. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get a shot on him. If he comes up through there, I just hope I can shoot through this, this wire. There he is. Oh no, he got me! Shit! Wow, Sparky got me. I couldn't see him. That f oh, that was, that was awesome. I love it. Exhilarating stuff. you got to get involved in this mod. It's freaking brilliant. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Cheers and goodbye.